one of Apple's biggest announcements for WWDC didn't actually happen during the conference. Apple's been putting a lot of effort into making games possible on Mac, as we all saw with the game announcements and Hideo showing up on stage. Like, how did Kojima get there? The biggest win for gamers on Mac wasn't mentioned because it's not really something that should be front and center, but it's such an important detail. And honestly, y'all gamers are nerdy about the details. So I want to talk a bit about it. So what is this huge change that I've been hyping up for so long? DirectX 12 support on Mac, kind of. You might have heard of Wine before. Wine stands for Wine is not an emulator, which is funny, but also an important detail about how Wine works. It is doing its best to make native graphics layer calls from DirectX 12. DirectX is the Windows solution for graphics acceleration in gaming. So if you're making a game for Windows, you shouldn't have to think about every different graphics card and processor and all the different ways computers are configured. The goal of DirectX is to make it so you have one layer that you can target as a developer and all Windows computers will be able to run that game with decent performance. And then graphics cards manufacturers have to make drivers for DirectX for their GPUs. If you're not in Windows, Microsoft isn't going to make DirectX work for your platform though. Because DirectX doesn't work on other platforms, we have to simulate it in order to play games on them. Proton, for example, is the platform that makes gaming on the Steam Deck viable because the Steam Deck runs Linux. And Proton is hard work done by Valve to simulate all sorts of weird Windows APIs in order to make DirectX and other things work properly in Linux. And it seems like Apple's not just playing catch up, but they're leapfrogging quite a lot. The new DirectX compatibility layer runs directly on top of Metal, which means it has access to all of Apple's crazy acceleration stuff for the M series chips. For the first time, we're gonna get to play real games that normally run on real big gaming PCs on our Macs and see what the performance looks like. And what we've been seeing so far is really exciting. This one's on Ventura, so it probably wasn't using the new tech, but if we look at the other ports like Counter-Strike 2 running at 1600p without any performance issues, locked 60 FPS, People have Elden Ring running through this, Cyberpunk running on an M1 MacBook. It's not fantastic performance, but it's like at least hitting a consistent 15 FPS with seemingly a lot of the graphic settings turned up pretty high. That's a ton of progress, and I am really excited to see what people do with this new compatibility layer. Somebody already made an open source project called Whiskey. I'll be sure to have this linked in the description. That is a wrapper for wine and the new Mac what they're referring to is the game porting toolkit, which lets you run any Windows game, theoretically, natively on Mac. This is so cool. The fact that we're already here is nuts. I'm excited to be within the first thousand people to start this repo. But the, yeah, we're already at the point where we can simulate almost any game now directly on Mac. And this is just like the early access beta that we just heard about a few days ago so hyped. This is this is game changing. And when you remember that almost every high end Apple device has variable refresh rate per pixel built in from the phones, any pro Apple device at this point is a variable refresh rate that goes up to 120 hertz, which is insane because that's like pro gaming display tier just in your MacBook Pro or your iPhone. And the more we have this level of performance and like processing power accessible to game devs, the cooler shit people are going to use that for. And I'm hyped. The, the future of gaming on Mac is brighter than it's ever been. And it's all because of this translation layer that Apple quietly added in the new Mac OS release. So if you're a gamer on Mac, maybe hold out on that next PC purchase until we know a bit more, because for the first time in a long time, Mac gaming starting to feel viable. I am hyped both as a developer and a gamer that loves my Apple computers. Are you hyped for gaming on Mac to be a little bit more viable? What games are you holding out for? What are you excited for the most? If you want to hear a bit more about my thoughts on the other WWDC announcements, I'll pin my video there all about that stuff. Thank you guys as always. Peace nerds.